Hi guys, so this is Sham and welcome to my channel Engineering Hub and this is a place where you learn something and everything uh, most of the things which you need to learn if you are in the manufacturing sector and working in the automobile sector document wise and uh, you know process wise and everything so I am just going to share pretty much uh, what are the basic documents available so today we are going to see an important part of a document that is called a PPAP okay? so PPAP is uh, basically production part uh, for the process so, uh, you must have uh, gone through the term you must most of you must have heard of the term so if you want to learn about it that's why you are here right so i'm just going to show you what are the ppap uh, what are the elements and what kind of elements are there and uh, how do you verify those things uh, so uh, let me just begin you with the index of the ppap right okay here we are the index and uh, uh, by index, uh, what is mean is uh, you can see what are the elements available in a PPAP package. So all they have listed down here. So what are the elements? So normally there are 21 elements. So here we are, almost 21 elements in uh, this package. So uh, based on every customer requirement, they have a separate set of uh, packages. Some uh, demand 18 documents or something. Someone video. So based on the, it's all based on the customer requirement. Okay. So this is the summary of the PPAP requirements. Okay. So here we are. Uh, you can see it's uh, uh, so whatever uh, what are the data is available here. So there's a supply name, there's a part name, and there's a part number. What kind of project is it? And what is the drawing uh, number and uh, submission date? On which date has been submitted? So and uh, here is the level of PPAP. Which level PPAP has been submitted? So mostly level three PPAP need to be submitted in for the tier two to tier one. So uh, basically for OEMs and all uh, they require a special set of uh, you know they have a separate requirement for that one so I am just going to show you one by one what are the uh, documents available so let me begin with the, the number one that is a part submission warrant so part submission warrant is basically what is the agreement between the customer and the supplier if uh, this uh, supplier is giving to uh, customer suppose it given to me so what are the requirements uh, need to submit okay so they, uh, they basically it's uh, like form of an agreement so what kind of uh, what are you going to submit and what kind of uh, things you're going to do so basically they've mentioned everything the uh, the address their address and the, our address whom are going they going to supply and what is the weight of the part and uh, specific things like their vendor code and all so here is it the uh, major things you just want to note down is the reason of submission what are the reason uh, they are submitting this PPAP so it's basically if they are going to submit it the first time then it's an initial submission and if there is a supply, supply chain or source chain they mentioned all that listed on all the reasons so you can just uh, you know for a re PPAP and all and if there is a source chain then also need, they need to submit a PPAP so they mentioned all the you know the things and uh, for this uh, that's an initial submission so they have mentioned dictate as an initial submission and uh, another thing is uh, you can see the below right uh, the submission level so that's what i mentioned you earlier like uh, a, we have a requirement for level 3 submission so there is an each level for uh, you know level 1 till level 5 what are the needs what are the things that need to be submitted either documents or items or the master sample so everything that's been given here right so and uh, below if you go means uh, they'll just uh, they have to they have mentioned what kind of process they are using and uh, you know the basic uh, fundamental details and uh, here uh, you can see in the edge right there uh, you need to you know the customer need to sign here and the supplier need to sign uh, on the top of it so it's uh, like basically they both have agreed that you are going to supply this part and what kind of part you are going to supply it and what uh, production point and everything and all ok so this is basically the part submission warrant for this is the mandatory document uh, you know for uh, like it's, it's an uh, normally like legal agreement ok so we are just going to move on to the next document okay. so this is the drawing so drawing is basically a drawing of the component drawing or you can say the design records uh, the, the terminology normally varies with, uh, between every supplier and every customer so here uh, I'm just uh, I'll just going to show you what is uh, basic uh, drawing okay. so you must have seen this is the basic drawing of every of a component normally if you're going to supply a component you must have the drawing and uh, with the control copy seal and uh, it means it's, uh, it's controlled and uh, it's verified so this is the design record or the drawing of the component so this is a uh, mandatory part of uh, the document of PPAP 
And another one is the engineering change document. Engineering change documents in the sense is what uh, I just showed you the drawing, right? So basically, what is the if any changes is there in the drawing? If any easing changes are there, uh, you know, uh, if a customer is required, so they'll mention everything here in the drawing. Okay, what is the revision history, and uh, that needs to be mentioned in that uh, engineering change uh, note. Okay? Next element we're going to see. The next element. So that is uh, the process FMA. So process FMA. And uh, before this, uh, I think uh, the missed out one document, right? Is the process flow diagram. So I'm just going to check. Uh, okay, I missed that one. Okay. The process flow diagram. I think I'll just show you directly okay, here. So here it's written, right? Okay process flow diagram so process flow diagram is uh, the the process in which the compound has been produced okay so this is like they've given symbols for every process uh, so this is normally the process flow diagram uh, how is it uh, the flow of the process being carried out from raw metal and inspection and storage and what kind of process do they perform so they mentioned everything here it is till dispatch what are the process involved and uh, you can see down below what are the symbols they have used in the process they have used as round and uh, for square they used for inspection and handling round okay. uh, basically these symbols has been uh, depicted in the above diagram so this is normally this is what the layout of the process flow diagram is based on this only the fma and control plan has been designed so after this uh, the next document was what i said i always told you this is the process for me. So in between the process flow diagram comes, but I think they have missed that one. I'm just going to need to correct the supplier, and I'm just going to, you know, they need to submit an updated one. So I'm just going to show you what it is. So this is the process FME. Okay, uh, I'm just not going to go very deep into it. I just I'm going to show you, show you the basics of it. So. Uh, I just showed you the process flow chart, right? The process flow diagram where uh, you can see all the process. So, what is the first uh, process or the second process? So, basically, they have uh, in this procedure they have made this one. Okay? This FMA they have made. So, the first one is the receiving of raw material. So, what are the normally uh, what is an fma is what kind of failure modes you will expect you what kind of failure modes you will face if uh, for every process that's what they have mentioned here okay, so what kind of uh, failures and what is the control for that one and uh, so it's basically the fma is the product of the risk priority you know the main factors are risk priority number the rp number they mentioned it here you can see 48 right so 48 is uh, basically the multiplication of uh, severity occurrence and detection so all three combined is the rp so they have requirement for uh, rp that they should not cross some number they have, they have some supplier have uh, you know they'll uh, fix it till 100 it shouldn't cross 100 if it crosses 100 means uh, what is the uh, action plan you need to submit they have to mention it here okay so this is basically an fma so what I told you earlier, right? Uh, like the first process, uh, apart, you know, the process flow diagram, they have, uh, you know, the first process is raw metal inspection. And the uh, whatever uh, the thing is, it's not one, two, three. The numbering will be like 10, 20, 30. So you can see here. Right? The first one will be 10. The second uh, operation will be 20. Third will be 30. Like that only. So you just need to verify that uh, whether the process flow diagram matches with this one. This one. That's how normally the verification of the is in there. So we we'll just go move on to the next document. Okay. So the next document, as per the list, let me go as per the list. Okay. Next process is the process quality control chart. So it's basically the control plan of a document. Okay. The control plan is what it is. It is basically what is the control available in the process. So they mentioned everything. Uh, I just showed you a FME, right? So FME means what are the failure modes available? What kind of uh, failure happens in a process? So this control plan is basically the controls available in a process. So they have mentioned, right? For uh, example, the first itself, the incoming inspection. Uh, what are the things they confirm and how do they confirm? Okay, the first one you can see the OD, the 
ਆਊਟ ਡੈਮ